Hi, and welcome to a walk in the carpenter shop. Um, I remember working at a church a few years ago and they had a church library and, and I always got tickled when I went to church libraries because there was always a church librarian somewhere that was marking books or uh, you know, sorting in a certain way or, or stacking books. And, and so you can learn a lot about a church if you find a church library. Now, most churches today don't have church libraries per se. That's an old school thing. I just stated myself, sorry about that. But on this particular library, there was a book of sermons by Dr. Um, Harry Ironside. And whoever the librarian was had taken a Sharpie marker and written across the cover, do not check out this book, Liberal Theology. So the church librarian had made a decision that Dr. Ironside was a theologian that probably leaned to the left, was maybe a little bit too liberal, and so therefore the book didn't need to be checked out. Now, it, it, it begs a question, well, why did they leave the book in the library? It was still there. You could see it. You just couldn't check it out. Uh, and I'm sure there's a story behind all that that I was never a part of. It must have happened years before the book was published in, you know, 63, 64, something like that. So, yeah, I, I don't know any of that story, but I just found it amusing. So I did what any good staff member would do. I just, um, I just kept, I held on to the book. Uh, I just figured if no one needed to check it out, I'd just hold on to it, and I would at some point read it, and, and did. And, um, and I understand why they didn't let it out of the library, and I don't doesn't necessarily disagree with that. But inside the book, it was fascinating to read some of the stories about this man and his life. In particular, um, he was preaching one time at a street meeting in San Francisco. When he was done preaching, there was a man in the crowd, an agnostic, um, that handed his business card to Dr. Ironside. On it, he had written a challenge. And what he was asking Ironside to do was debate him. And he said, I want to debate agnosticism versus Christianity. Dr. Ironside looked at the card, looked at the man, the crowd was still gathered, and said in front of the crowd, I accept this challenge on one condition, that my agnostic friend here defend the worth of his philosophy by bringing to the debate witnesses who will give power about the testimony of how agnosticism has transformed the life. In other words, he called him out. He said, I want to hear about the powerful impact that agnosticism has had and changed their life. He said, and then I will bring with me 100 witnesses who tell the power of Christ and his ability to change our lives. And together, we'll explore what has greater impact in the lives of people and where's the proof in the changed lives. Agnosticism, Christianity. The agnostic listened to Dr. Ironside as he said it, raised his eyebrow, sneered, waved his hand in disgust, and walked away. And as he did, everybody began to applaud. In the face of changed lives, in the face of impact, people notice that. And so I would remind you as we think about lessons that we learn in the carpenter shop. One of the greatest testimonies that you and I have is a testimony of a changed life. It's hard to debate that. And I can't think of one person who is a follower of Jesus Christ whose life has not been changed for the better. I know a lot of people who have turned their backs on Christ, who have embraced other lifestyles and other philosophies, and their lives are anything but a life that you would want for yourself. So the change, if it does occur at all, is never for the better. And so keep in mind that challenge. Theology aside, Dr. Einstein had a good point. You bring your best testimony of why what you believe works, I'll bring a hundred that can show you why what I believe works. And we'll see the difference. I want you to know your faith works. Join me again next time in the carpenter shop.